Good morning, everybody. Workout's done. Now it's project day, Saturday. So both bikes need washed. My bike needs the primary oil changed. Um, the black bike, the uh, gas tanks are still off. So I have BBs and I uh, have more vinegar. So we're gonna try to get all that crap cleaned out and uh, start putting it back together because uh, I'd like to get that thing running here soon, especially so I don't have to worry about it when I'm traveling. So it looks like a day in the garage for me, but first, yeah, you know, some coffee. All right, so before we get this party started, we have to run to the Harley dealership and grab a, a couple of pieces and parts, and I need new spark plugs for basically all the bikes. Uh, so we'll grab those while we're there too. And uh, then I need a gasket for my primary for silver because I'm going to take it all apart make sure it's all in good shape before we take the ride because if you remember last year I had an issue in there and uh, just want to make sure it's all good anywho that's what we're doing then we'll be back here working in the shop but it's a nice morning for a ride at least I'm going to get some ride in alright parts have been acquired time to go back and get some maintenance done on these bikes another pack day here at Birds Black Widow So that project is underway. Got all the fluid draining out of that. The gas tank project is also under the way. I got a whole bunch of BDs and uh, vinegar. And uh, we're gonna get these tanks all cleaned out. I also got a new petcock today um, while I was at Harley Davidson. They had it in stock. Amazing, I know, for the 99. So it'll have a brand new petcock with filter and the whole nine yards. I will probably put an inline fuel filter in the fuel line as well, just to catch any of the stuff that I may or may not get out of the tank. I'm gonna do my best to get every last piece of it, but that'll be my backup just in case I don't. So that is our project today. Uh, that I need to clean both the bikes and get them ready for Arkansas, but we got a few weeks on that, right? But I would like to get this thing all fired up and going here shortly so i'm hoping by the end of the weekend i'll have the tanks at least ready to reinstall maybe next weekend i can get them reinstalled put some fuel in it and uh, then start working on the carburetor or whatever else it needs um, i did get plugs for it i got plugs for all the bikes today so the v-rod um, red and both of these bikes and of course the 99 all got new plugs today, so we'll get those all changed. Uh, these bikes both have probably 25,000, 28,000 miles on their plugs, so it's definitely time to get them changed. We'll get those changed. Projects, projects, and more projects. But I'm in the garage. It's a beautiful day, and uh, I'm prepping for a long road trip, which is really what I'm looking forward to. Uh, it's funny. I look forward to it as much as I dread it. I know that is kind of like contradicting each other. I love the ride, but there's just so much, right? It just kind of gets overwhelming planning and then making sure we're there on time and we're supposed to be doing what we're what we've said we would do. Um, that is the part that is stressful. But otherwise, we're getting pretty close. Um, see if we can get these tanks all ready to go. All right. So we've knocked a lot of the rust out of the gas cans. We'll work on that for probably the next couple weekends. Dumping it out, refilling it back up, sloshing it around. We've uh, got fluid in our primary. Just got to put the put the inspection cover back on. And we got the V-Rod out. And the V-Rod, well the V-Rod is ready. Like it's, it's pretty much done. I have one piece I've got to find still. And that is the bracket for the horn. So while we were in California last year, um, her knee hits that a lot and it ended up breaking that bracket. So we just took the horn off and uh, brought it back with us. But I am going to have to find a bracket or I'm going to have to make a bracket to hold the horn on there. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is see if I can find one. If I can't, then I'll look at maybe manufacturing one. But uh, for the most part, hopefully I can find one. So if any of you guys know anybody that's got like a wrecked V-Rod somewhere that might have that horn bracket, let me know. I will uh, 
check them out. The starter solenoid is working awesome. Um, the oils are all changed. I mean, it's literally like ready to be, well, it's gonna be put up for the summer since Baby Badger's not going with us and I can only ride one bike. That means the V-Rod is, is staying home. But uh, it's such a fun bike. I know a lot of people just hate on it, but they can hate all they want. It's a freaking blast. I just took it for a few mile ride. It's just so much fun to ride. It's fast, it's nimble, it's just, it's just a great bike. Um, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. In fact, I won't trade it for anything. This one stays in my collection because they don't make them anymore. And mark my words, 10, 15 years from now, everybody's gonna be wanting to get their hands on a V-Rod for their collection and they're not gonna be around. So, anywho. That's where we're at. So far, so good. What a great Saturday. Hi guys, I'm gonna call today a success. I did get uh, some work done on the V-Rod. I got some work done on my bike. And I got this. Look at all this wonderful stuff I got out of those gas tanks. Yes, that is the liner that was inside of here. And uh, it keeps coming out, so I will keep rinsing it and shaking it and, and knocking everything loose and getting it out of there until I'm done and there is nothing else in there left to come out. Because if I leave any of that stuff in there, right, it can plug up fuel lines, ports, carburetors, you name it. Um, I'm also gonna take and put an inline fuel filter after after the petcock so that it'll pick up any extra little pieces that I may not get out of the tank just to protect it from going into the carburetor. So that is where we're gonna end it today for working on the bikes. I've gotta cook dinner. It's steak night. Yes. Mama Badger's gonna have shrimp because she doesn't like steak. I'm gonna have steak. And then uh, I don't know what we're doing tonight. She's reading a book. So if she's reading, that means I'm probably gonna go race some Gran Turismo or something. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, we'll be back out here tomorrow, hopefully getting a little more done on these tanks and getting ever so much closer to putting the tanks back on this bike and getting this bike running. So stay tuned. We'll see what we come up with tomorrow. So I told you I got a new Petcock. Here's the old one from Harley Davidson today for my bike. So on the outside of the box, as you can read here, packaged in the USA with parts from Japan. Well, at least they're not from China, right? <laughs> they're, they're from Japan, same place Honda's from, right? So that makes it okay. Anyway, so I was comparing the two and uh, there is definitely some changes here. Check this out. So this is the old one and this is the new one. Um, metal, all plastic. So this is all plastic except here. Um, but yeah, that's your big difference. They made this all in plastic. And uh, the, the actually the control is a little different too. Um, if you take a look at it, here's the old original one and there's the new one. But anyway, just thought I'd show you those comparisons. Now, I don't know if the original one was made in the United States. I don't see any way that, where that says made in the USA on it, but uh, I know the new one's not. It's assembled in the US with parts from Japan. All right, so the day's not over. We snuck out. We've got Jeremiah's. Look at these things. I mean, look at how far up above the cup they are. It's crazy. Are you enjoying it? Or did you get Oreo mocha something, right? I got strawberry shortcake. I better eat it before it melts. And we got the Jeep out. There she is. 